welcome to uh, today class in this class we consider some more problems based on harmonic analysis in the previous class we already discussed uh, how they construct uh, first harmonic or second harmonic uh, for fourier series from the harmonic analysis how to convert a fourier quotient uh, integral in terms of the summation using average formula or mean formula okay now observe carefully is all written one of the problem on the board this is related to your uh, four subject the following table gives the variations of periodic current over a period periodic current over a period t in terms of second c is nothing but current is amplitude 0 1.98 t by 6 1.30 t by 3 1.05 t by 2 this uh, we are taking uh, in each step t by 6 to add uh, 0 plus t by 6 this t by 6 plus t by 6 uh, we get t by 3 again t by 3 plus t by 6 we get t by 2 like that uh, each uh, uh, step what's the increment is t by 6 and then taken up to 2 show that there is a direct current part is point uh, part uh, is 0.75 amp amplitude in the variable uh, direct current uh, part of yeah, part of yeah, here I to add of direct uh, there is a direct current part of 0.75 you have to add the word of 0.75 amplitude in the uh, variable current and obtain the amplitude of first harmonic and obtain the amplitude of the first harmonic means first you have to construct first harmonic for the given set of data for the Fourier series. Now, be now before moving to the next step, you already know that now how to proceed. Now here, observe the what's the first row variable is small t, what's the second row variable is a, what's the first value of the first row is 0, what's the last value is t. The corresponding both first and last value of first row having the same value in the second row. This shows that table is complete. If once the table is complete, then what's the overall interval is 0, comma t. Once start from, keep in mind while construction of Fourier series using harmonic analysis, uh, we go for general construction of Fourier series. We start from 0, therefore what is our interval is equal to 0 to 2, your first case of the General construction of Fourier series. Otherwise, while explaining the construction of Fourier series using in the harmonic analysis, what's the general interval is a comma a plus 2l. a is 0, a plus 2l is 2l equal to t. Means a is 0, what we get? 2l is equal to t. If you want, take first case of the general uh, construction of Fourier series, or you take general interval, compare it. a is 0, a plus 2l is equal to t, a is 0 means 2l is equal to t. 2 here is equal to t that implies what is my l t by 2 l is t by 2 but what is my uh, 1 by l reciprocal of that what is 1 by l is uh, 2 by t 2 by capital t okay fine now uh, and also from this what is my l by x by l what is 1 by l 2 by t more we get 2 n by x by capital t now, based on that, first you write what's the first uh, up to Fourier series up to first harmonic formula. Now, first harmonic means A0 by 2, A1, you know, first term of the series of both A0 and Bn. Okay. The Fourier series because they are asking uh, amplitude first harmonic, so they are better at construct first up to first harmonic for, harmonic for the Fourier series. For what is my f of x is a, I told we have changed the variable based on the given data corresponding the variable a over, what's the overall interval 0 comma t. Before moving to the next step, I told number of times this table is complete, either you neglect, don't consider repeated value more than once, either neglect this value or neglect big one the last value usually we are neglecting the last value okay in the next step over p 
first harmonic up to first harmonic is f of x equals a naught not f of x no what is f of x here second row variable what is second row variable for the given data a equals a naught by 2 first term a1 yeah, n is equal to 1. This is n by x. So, n is equal to 1 means cos of 2 by x by 2. Cos of what actually? 2 by x. Yeah, cos of 2 by x by 2. And then first term V1 sign off. Yeah, you writing the value it depends upon n by x. So just by before going to construct the harmonic or Fourier series based on harmonic, first you calculate what is n by x. So put n is one first term, put n is two second term by two. Sign off two pi x by two. Yeah. Here how many values of n after you neglect that one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't consider value other than repeated value what is my n into 6. Now what is my uh, a naught formula? a naught is uh, what actually twice of mean of second row variable. What second row variable of that? The given data in given uh, table a. What is a1? Twice of mean of instead of a1 what we are going to take a into this function. Cos of 2 pi x by Okay, and then what is my uh, V1? V1 is twice of uh, mean of A into sine of 2 pi X by capital T. Okay, now in the next step, next step, uh, we want, uh, now we have to find out uh, a not even a to make it sign up to find out summation of a, summation of this value, summation of this, then automatically we get average. What's the now we have to write the formula for a not even a2. Now I written a not is twice of uh, mean of uh, a means what 2 into what's the mean sum of the value of i by ranging from 1 to how many values? n is 6 divided by 6 and then also I have to write the formula for a1 is nothing but twice of sum of i into what actually cos of 2 by xi by t or i ranging from 1 to 6 divided by divided by 6 and then v1 is nothing but 2 times of summation i ranging from 1 to 6 ai sin of 2 pi xi divided by 6 whole divided by 6 yeah. this is a way we have to find out the values of a naught a1 and a2 what are the sum they require first you consider the table based on the table i to uh, Find out the sum of this value, summation of this value, and also summation of this. Now we are going to proceed the table. Yeah. What's the uh, value of uh, what's the first two rows of nothing but the given data? What's the given data? Given data is nothing but uh, t. How many rows you are expecting? Six. And also the last row is total. One, two, three, four, five, and also six. And the last row is total. Yeah. And then first value is T. Okay. What's the second one is A? Yeah. Next is observe carefully both finding A1 and uh, 
given what's a common thing 2 pi x uh, 2 pi not x I written here wrong because see up the if I told so many times x is nothing but independent variable after KTV, what I did here mistake now here what is a variable the given t f of x is a x is t before we can't write x here we are going to write t yeah that's a very very important here also t n by x by n yeah you must and should have to take care for this suppose you did somewhere mistake you can't proceed okay this is t1 okay please don't confuse x is nothing but first row variable, f of x is nothing but second row variable. Is, this is independent variable, this is dependent on first row, dependent variable. Now reset it. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah, don't confuse here. If you want, try to uh, erase it and then write it properly for this. At least one step. Yeah, 2 pi p n. This is the denominator is capital T. This is 2 pi pi denominator as it is. Okay. Now, in the next step, what you see in both the cases, both finding A1 and B1, what's a common thing you want? Uh, uh, 2 small, uh, 2 pi pi by capital T. Come on. You find out that separate. And next, we also uh, find out this value, this value, and also this value. Yeah. Okay. A i cos of two by e i by capital T and also a i into sin of 2 pi t i by capital T. Okay. You write first two values for the given data. What is the given data? 0 t by 6, uh, t by 3, t by 2, 2 t by 3, 5 t divided by 6, this is total. What is A value? 1 1 1.30, 1.05, 1.30, minus 0.88, minus 0.25. Okay, these are the things. Given ordering. Yeah, what is total of uh, uh, A is nothing but uh, 4.5. If you want to take this total, just using calibrator, find out the total. Next, you see, do it like that, then I to avoid the mistakes. What I did in the previous class, I written directly what is T, T0, what is cos 0, 1, and then multiply plus 1 A value. Instead of that, you find out this value separately. Put t is 0. What is t? t is small t value. t is 0. What we get? This is 0. Put small t is equal to t by 6. t t cancelled. 2 pi by 6. What we get? 5 by 3. Next. Put small t is t by 3. Then we get 2 pi by 3. Then I to avoid the mistakes. Put capital T is t by 2. 2 by t. 2 by t is cancelled. We get Five. Next, two, no, put what is 2 t by t is nothing but capital T capital is cancer 4 pi by t. Next, put small t is nothing but fifth value, t5. Uh, say sixth value, first value, second, third, fourth, fifth, this is sixth value, t6. What is t6 value here? Because I ranging from 1 to 6. If you want to see here, I ranging from 1 to 6. Okay. Clear? What's the next step here? Now here, uh, once you put that, what we get actually? Uh, four, 5, 2 1s are, 2 3s are, 3 3 cancel. 5, 5 by 3. Okay. 
no make sure take cos of 0 what is cos of 0 is 1 into 1 upon negative we take 1 upon negative next cos of 5 by 3 into 1 upon 3 is 0 what we get that's again cos of 5 by 3 is 1 half into 1 by 1 1 upon 3 is 0.6 like that cos of 2 by 2 pi by 3 into 1.05 we get minus 0 0.525 next cos of pi is minus 1 into my 1.3 it is minus 1.30 and next cos of 4 pi by 3 into minus 0.88 is nothing but we get actually minus half into 0.88 is minus into minus 1 into plus 0.44 because cos of 4 pi by 3 is minus r multiplied with point, minus 0.8 we get it. Similarly, uh, cos, of, uh, cos of 5 pi by 3 into minus 0 0.2, 0 0.25 is nothing but minus 0.125. If you want, you calculate it. Take this total, this total we get 1.12. Similarly, I have to calculate along with sine. Sine 0 is 0, therefore multiplication of A1 also 0. Next second value of uh, t is t by 6 pi by 3 sin uh, pi by 3 into 1.0 multiply that we get round up to 4 uh, decimal value 1.12 pi by 3 round up to 4 decimal means observe the fifth decimal suppose is greater than or equal to 4, 5 we shifted 1 unit to the fourth place and next uh, uh, sin of 2 pi by 3 into 1.05 we get 0 0.909. Everyone will know how to use calculator. And next, sine pi is 0, the product also 0. Sine of 4 pi by 3 into minus 0.88. We get 0.7621. What's the next is sine of 5 pi by 3 into minus 0.25. What we get actually minus 0.2165. Take this total. The total we get 3.01. Seven. Yeah. And next you for calculate the corresponding uh, what actually J naught and uh, A naught A1 B1. What is A naught? We already written the board. A naught is equal to 2 into sum of i is 4.5 divided by 6. Divided by 6. Okay. Simplify that. Now we get 1.5. We get one point implies what is my a naught by 2 is nothing but 0.7 okay. and next a1 what is my a1 a1 is nothing but 2 into sum of this value 1.12 divided by what's a 6 then simplify that we get 0.3733 similarly I took character b1 2 into 3.0 137 divided by 6 is nothing but 1.0046. These are the values for a naught by 2, a b a 1 and b 1 and 2. You have to construct Fourier series up to first harmonic. Fourier series up to first harmonic. The next step, Fourier series for A over what's the interval 0, comma T up to which harmonic? First harmonic. First harmonic is a equals a naught by 2. What is my a naught by 2? 0 0.75. A1 is what actually? 0 0.3733 into uh, cos of 2 pi mod t divided by capital T. And then this is nothing but what is your B1 value? 1.0046 into sin of 2 pi mod t divided by capital T. Keep in mind this is small t, 
and then uh, FR flux is calculated. Then direct current for the variable. Next, I want to write direct current. variable current in the variable current it's nothing but it's free from this is nothing but this part is a direct current because it's not multiple with any cosine or sine function this part is nothing but direct any part what is that value on so e naught by 3 is nothing but my direct current part it's not multiple with any geometry function this is nothing but function in the just they are expected Next, I have to find out the amplitude. This is one of your related to four subject amplitude of the first harmonic. First harmonic equals square root of v1 square plus v2. Amplitude of the first harmonic square of this value plus the square of this value. Now I have to substitute it. Simplify that. What is my A1 value? 0.373 whole square plus 1.0046 whole square. You simplify that. What we get up to 1.0717. Count up to which decimal? 4 decimal. This is a nothing but amplitude of the first harmonic. It's a way to find out the uh, direct current and um, amplitude of the first term. This is one of our related to uh, four subject related problem. Now, before moving to the next step, yeah, I did beginning mistake, but keep in mind x is nothing but first row variable, uh, f of x is nothing but uh, second row variable based on the contributions of the series. Here, I want to construct the Fourier series. Therefore, now after first term, money. Why I construct to first harmonic? Because they are asking after the first harmonic, better I to construct first harmonic. What is overall interval? The V1 interval is all, V1, K1 is already completed. Why? Because first and last value of first row having the same value for the second row. Now, pick 0 to T, refer to the second case. Therefore, from that we get 2L is equal to T. Then L value 1 by L also we get N pi, uh, N pi T by L I to calculate T T. And also I have to take L is equal to 6. After neglect either first value or second value, you can consider more than one uh, say repeated value here. All values must be distinct. And next, uh, uh, concept of Fourier series, after first harmonic, I have to write A0 by 2, A1 cos, n is equal to 1, then cos, uh, cos of 2 pi mod t by dot t. Similarly, B1 sine of 2 pi t by dot t. And then you write the formula for that. A0 is nothing but twice of mean of A because f of x a and then a1 is nothing but this a I to replace here. So here I to replace, here I have to replace, replace it and we get uh, mean value, mean formula. You know what's the mean formula arrival. The mod value is divided by mean of value. I to express in the form of summation. While expressing in the form of summation, I take i ranging from 1 to 6 because my n is 6. And carefully I to find out, I did one extra thing because both the column are equal to pi small t i by t. First I to calculate Based on p small t value, it is 0 up to pi t by uh, 6. Once we get automatically, it's possible to calculate this value. So once we get to the average, you find out the value. From that, you construct that this is up to first harmonic. From the first harmonic, this is free from both geometry function. This is not about direct current part in the variable current. Um, and next is the amplitude of the first harmonic is not about square root of v1 square plus v2. A formula, you know that how to do this is a way I to uh, do the uh, problem. Okay. And uh, this is very easy to compare to all the uh, concept in Fourier series, construction of Fourier series using harmonic analysis, just let me move on to the next one. Okay, once you are going to calculate based on the numbers, you already know that you are concerned teacher in numerical method, teacher or uh, faculty, or uh, you are concerned uh, lecturer is already told well, what are the problem you are going to evaluate or calculate using based on numerical values. Definitely, more majority, 99% is not give uh, accurate value. 
we are going to find a best approximation value. Like that, here they are not given any function, they are given some discrete set of data. Based on the data, we are going to construct a best approximation Fourier series for the first harmonic. What's the word I use? Best approximation. We can't expect it always we get accurate because you already know that in numerical method. Few cases we get accurate, but we have a discrete data. How to find out best approximation value uh, related to the corresponding uh, um, uh, corresponding the table? There we are going to use numerical method. Like that, whenever they're having data in the form of numericals, how to construct the Fourier series? Best approximation Fourier series we have to construct by using the uh, analysis harmonic analysis. Yeah, you already know that. Yeah, I'm repeating once again. Whenever having data, if you want to take a decision based on the numerical values, the purest best approximation value. If not purest, uh, no, most of it is purest value because the it's not a function. It's a data. Okay? Uh, here also, that's another. Anyone you come and ask the question, if it's possible to construct the Fourier series based on the numerical values, yes, it's possible to use. By using harmonic analysis, it's possible to construct the Fourier series, but it's not possible to construct the Fourier series, general Fourier series, but it's only possible to construct up to first harmonic, up to second harmonic, current Fourier series from the given data. Okay, next move to the second problem. The second problem. X plus Y. Plus a Fourier series up to first harmonic from the following table. Following table. is a table they provide and also one. x is independent variable y is a dependent on x 0 degree 0, zero degree ok 7.9 uh, 60 degree step of uh, 60 degree increasing 7.2 120 degree or uh, 3.6 180 degree, 0.75, uh, 240 degree, 0.9, 300 degree, 6.8, 360 degree, 7.9. Yeah, this is a data they provide. I want to construct up to this harmonic first harmonic. Okay? first harmonic first you take overall integral now in the solution solution yeah overall interval is in the form of degree you know that 360 degree in terms of the radian is nothing but for 2 pi now before going to take overall interval whenever they are given in the form of degree first try to convert in the form of radian yes here the given interval, here the, uh, the given interval is how to take into first value to last value. How to convert 360 degrees to pi overall into 0 to pi. Now in step of what's increasing in each uh, one 60 degree. Therefore, it's referred to uh, which case, first case of the construction of Fourier series for the general case of Fourier series because it starts from 
zero, zero to two n. From that, automatically we get value of n. What's value of this? Now this is a one of our imparted thing I should be observed carefully. L is equal to pi. That implies what is my n by x by n? What is my n by x by n? Is in x in x. Here I take the x because it's correct. Uh, dependent variable is x. Okay. Now I have to write the formula for your series. Fourier series for y over 0 to 2 pi up to first harmonic up to first harmonic x yeah y equals a naught pi to first term of the summation means n is equal to 1, a1 into cos of pi x by not pi x in x, cos of so n is equal to 1, we get cos x. Okay. Yeah. Cos x, cos x, b1 sin x. I think it's clear how we get uh, this one. Put n is equal to 1. Sin x. A. What is my a naught? A naught is twice of mean of y. What's the formula for mean or average? Sum. What is my n value? N is after you see this is a complete table. Yeah. I've taken 0 to 2 pi and I've forgotten to explain for this. I've taken directly 0 to 2 pi. It's a complete the given data itself is a complete because the first and last value of x. Having corresponding second row value must be same, therefore it's complete, not necessary to do the complete for the table. After that, what we are going to do, I have to neglect either first value or second value. I can enter this for how many values are remaining? 6, therefore n is equal to 6. Okay. I range in from 1 to 6. What is uh, y into cos? If we, sorry, this is not correct, I will do it. Only I have to take uh, twice of yn. Because only y divided by 6. Similarly, what is my mean? <coughs> twice of mean of y into cos x. Okay? It's nothing but into summation of i ranging from 1 to 6 y i cos x i divided by 6. Similarly, I have to write the formula for y n. To write the formula for y n. What is my n formula? Uh, so not, uh, uh, sorry, this is not a n here. Yeah. a 1. Yeah. This is a 1. And next, similarly, I have to find out b1. I have to write the formula for b1. This is a1. This is b1. It's twice of mean of y, y into sin x. Nothing but twice of for i ranging from 1 to 6. y i into sin x i divided by 6. Okay. In the Next step, <clears throat> what are the things are required for the summation for you calculate using table?
<clears throat> These are the various projects in front of you. Now I think it's in green. Yeah, that is very easy how to convert in the form of. I told number of times in the beginning of the problem, whenever the given in the form of degree, first you have to convert in the form of grade. Yeah. Zero, zero, 60 degree, 5 degree. 120, 2553, 180, 5, 240, 455, 300, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5,
three plus a one four point zero five into cos six and then b one is point eight nine four nine into cos six. It's a way at the construct. Yeah, suppose they given another one point expense, suppose they given in the form of the three for straight convert for our convenience in the form of radian. It's a way to construct uh, uh, whatever the first up to harmonic uh, Fourier series of the first harmonic, similarly second harmonic uh, and also some can rarely they going to ask for the second harmonic. What are the values for you find out A1, A2, B1, A2 and B2. Now, this is entire uh, one screen chart. I'm showing this is a problem what we discuss here. Yes. Yeah. And similarly, in the previous problem, if you want to uh, take a, a screenshot of this. For the first problem, if you want, I show you the first problem. It's, uh, I want to take a little bit uh, zoom out. Uh, this is a little bit big compared to the previous problem. And this is a one shot for the uh, first problem what we discussed today. Okay. This is for second. I move to one problem based on uh, half range uh, series. How to construct uh, Fourier series for half range sine and cosine series using harmonic analysis. Okay. Uh, no, that's the last problem. Constant term and the first three portions in the Fourier in the Fourier cosine series. Four year cosine series means half range cosine series. Keep in mind, four year cosine series is nothing but four year what it will be half range half range cosine series. Four year cosine series is equivalent to say that half range cosine series. Or why using Following A one using following table. X and corresponding Y. 0, 4, 1, 3, 2, 15, 3, 7, 4, 6, 5, 2. Okay, it's a data they provide. What they expecting? Find the constant term and find the first portions in the Fourier sine series. Fourier sine, Fourier cosine series. What is the Fourier cosine series? Just not what? 
are fringe cosine series. Now, here before moving to the next step, first try to know whether table is complete or incomplete. What's the first value of x is 0? What's the last value of x is 1? Corresponding y, second row or y values are different. Therefore, this shows the table is incomplete. First try to know the complete. How to do the uh, complete for this table? Here, this letter. Take next value. What's the increment for each of the value in x axis? It's a row means first row is uniform distribution. I told already 6. The corresponding y values 4. Now this table is completed. What is my overall uh, uh, interval here? The overall interval is nothing but actually 0, 6. It's referred to what we discussed first problem. Refer to what? Start from 0. Refer to the first case of general case 0 to 2L. What is a uh, 2L is equal to 6. That implies what is my L is equal to 3. Yeah, L is equal to. Yeah, I did mistake here. Why? Because what is no C? Yeah. One minute, I'm going to explain. Yeah, this is a main uh, uh, confusion the students also doing that. Yeah, just a minute. Yeah, I to construct uh, what actually half range cosine, uh, half uh, half range cosine series or four year cosine series. What's the formula for half range uh, cosine series? Is uh, f of x. What is f of x here? Y is equal to a naught by two. The summation in ranging from 1 to infinity a n cos of n by x is only by n because uh, the independent variable for first row is x only. Now, I told before going to take the range, first try to observe whether table is complete or incomplete. So, first complete means some first and last value must be having the same y value. Then only say that it's a periodic function. Now, I to add 6 and 4. What is my entire range here? 0 to 6. The entire range is 0 to 6, but here we have to construct half range cosine series or four year uh, cosine series. Now I have to refer 0 to L. Yeah. What is my L value? 6. Keep in mind, whenever they mention cosine or sine, or sine, there we have to go for half range construction. In the half range, what is our general interval? 0 to L. From that, what is my n by x by n? L is nothing but n by x by 6. n by x. n by x by 6. Now here, I want to construct the Fourier series. Not for I to construct the Fourier series. I want to find out a constant term is a naught by 2. And also, I to find the first three Fourier coefficients. a naught, a1, for first three Fourier coefficients in the Fourier cosine series means half range Fourier half, half range cosine series. What are the first three terms are a1, a2, a3. a naught by 2 is constant term. Then I have to find out a naught value, a1 value, a2 value, a3 value. Keep in mind, for me only I did mistake. When we were talking about half range, what is our interval? General interval 0 to n, not for 0 to 2 n. Suppose they not mention any sine or cosine, that is our general construction of Fourier series. There we have to take 0 to 2 n, especially for construction of Fourier series in the harmonic, using harmonic analysis. Okay. And next you have to write the formula for A naught. What is A naught? Twice of average of 1 nothing but 2 into summation of 5 divided by 6 because how many value of n is equal to 6? Now, once you've taken the value of L, after that we are going to neglect and then we pump 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, fine. What's the next uh, formula for A1? It's nothing but twice of uh, mean of y into n is equal to 1 cos pi x by L is what actually here 6. Pi x by 6. Okay. It's nothing but 2 into sigma. For i ranging from 1 to 6, y cos of pi x by 6 all divided by 6. Similarly, I could write a2 formula and also a3. a3 twice of mean of y into n is equal to 2 cos of 2 pi x by 6. Nothing but 2 into summation of y cos of 
to pi x x 6 whole divided by 6 and i raised to 1 to 6. And similarly write the formula for u. This is a difference between work done of construction to half inch Fourier or sine 6. Fourier sine of cosine 6. Twice of average of 1 into part of p pi x by 6. And 6, 1 into part of p pi x by 6 whole divided by 6. Okay. I think it's clear I did one mistake. Half inch means 0 to 1 and 2 by 2 to the value of n and then you take what is n. Construction of Fourier series means 0 to 6 means i equal to 0 to 2. This is a difference. After that you construct the table and then you have to find out the uh, whatever that uh, value. Yeah, you know how to construct the table also. I'm going to move a little bit fast because you know how to construct the table. It's a very simple construct the table. Okay. Now this is nothing but x, this is nothing but y, this is nothing but y into cos of y x. Uh, yeah, pi x by 6. This is nothing but y into cos of 2 pi x by 6. This is nothing but y into cos of 3 pi x by 6. If you want to calculate take cos of pi x by 2. Okay. And next you have to take the values of uh, z by y. You get the corresponding. The rest of you, you know that. But while taking L is very very important. Avada must be same. But L is taking L is different. First two values you know 0, 4 is given in the table, in the data 2, 15, 3, 7, 4, 6, 5 and 2. 5, 2, this is total. Yeah. Put x is 0 if you want direct or if you, yeah, different values are there. n is 1, n is 2, n is 3. Therefore, I will put it directly. Put x is 0, plus 5. Cos 0 is 1, you will get 4, put x is equal to 1, cos of 8 is 6 into 8, we get 6.928, uh, and then put uh, x is equal to 2, cos of 2, 5 by 6, minus cos of 5 by 3, we get 15, we get uh, 15 by 2, 5, 7.5. Next, cos of 3, yeah, after 2, 3, cos of uh, 3, 5, by 6 means cos of pi by 2. Cos of pi by 2 0, 0 into 7 is 0. Cos of 4 pi by 6 means cos of 3 pi by uh, uh, 2 pi by 3 what? into 6 what we get minus 6. And x put x, x is equal to 5. Cos of 5 pi, pi by 6 into y. y is 2 what we get minus, uh, minus 1.7. Uh, minus 1. Take the total of this. Similarly, I have to calculate this value. Uh, 2 extra is there. Uh, x is 0, cos 0, this we get 1, 4 only. Here also 1, 4 only. And next, uh, put uh, x is equal to 1, cos of 2 pi by 6 into u. We get 4. Cos of 2 pi into 2 means cos of 4 pi by 6 into 15. We get minus 7.2. And next, uh, cos of 2 pi into 3 means cos of 6 pi by 5 means uh, 6 pi by 6 is 6 is cancelled. Cos p is minus 1, we get minus 7. And next, cos of 2 pi into 4 is cos of 8 pi by 6 into the corresponding y value 6, we get minus 3. Similarly, cos of 2 pi into 3 means cos of 10 pi by 6 into the corresponding y value. What is y value? Is we get my, uh, we get one and three, yeah. And then similarly is multiplied by three. X is equal to one. Cos of three pi by six into eight, we get zero. We get uh, zero. Uh, why? Because cos of three pi by six means cos pi by two. Cos pi by two is zero. The product is zero. Next. Uh, 
put x is equal to 2 cos of 6 by 3. Uh, 6 is cancelled with the cos 5 is minus into 15 is minus 15. And next, 3 cos of uh, what about uh, 3 into 3, 9 pi by 6. Uh, that value also we get uh, 0. And next, cos of x is equal to equal 5 by 6 into 6. We get 6 only. And next, uh, 15. Yeah, 5 3 is 15. 15 5 by 6 uh, multiplied by with uh, whatever the, the, the corresponding uh, this value is a cos of 15 5 by 6 itself is uh, we get 0 into y value we get into 2 we get 0. Take the total. Total of y is 42. Total of this is uh, 13.696. Total of this is nothing but uh, minus 8.5. Total of this is minus. Yeah, and then you calculate immediately what are our uh, a, a naught and uh, a, a naught is what actually you know the constant term. Constant term, they ask a constant term is nothing but uh, a naught into then uh, 1 by 2 into 2 into 42 by 6. Simplify, we get 7. And then I find out a1. a1 is nothing but 2 into total of this 13.696 divided by mm, uh, 6. Simplify that 4.5653 and next we get B2 2 into minus 8.5 divided by 6. Simplify that we get minus 1 uh, minus 2.833 and then similarly I have to calculate A3. 2 into minus 5 divided by 6. Simplify that to get minus 1.666. This is a way to find out the first three equation of cosine or Fourier cosine constant term and Fourier cosine series. Fourier cosine or sine series in the mention is half line sine series, maybe half line cosine series. When you are talking about half line sine or cosine series, cosine sine or cosine series. Please take care taking the value of m. In the half range sine series, cosine series, or just you have to, uh, sometimes it's not mentioned in the sine series and cosine series taken into account. There also our general interval is 0 to l, equal to the upper limit to l, and then take the value of m. This is one of the important things you have to take care to construct half range uh, cosine or sine series or sine series or cosine series. Now, I am showing the entire problem in one screenshot. Observe carefully. This is a way I do. Keep in mind before going to take the value of L, observe whether table is complete or incomplete. First and last value of the first row must be having the same value in the second row. Means function is a periodic, then only I could possible to construct the Fourier series. Suppose incomplete, first you complete and pick the interval. After once we get the value, n pi x pi value, you neglect the either first, first value column x and y are last value. Why so? Because in both the case we get the same thing. The rest of things just like the numerical method you have to use calculator carefully have to calculate that. Now keep in that the, taking the value of L is very very important role here construction of Fourier series in the harmonic analysis. This is a one of the application corresponding to the Fourier series I discussed in my previous class and uh, today uh, second class how to construct the uh, what actually uh, Fourier series in the harmony of after first harmonic after the second harmonic I think uh, it's clear you get idea now anybody would ask suppose you have a discrete data or you have a numerical values how to construct the Fourier series is possible to construct the Fourier series using harmonic analysis for we treated harmonic analysis is nothing but application of Fourier series. I told already in the, my previous video what's the advantage, what's the disadvantage. Keep in mind what we are finding A0, A1, A2, A3 are all not the accurate value because we are calculating based on the numerical values that we are finding a best approximation value for the given uh, whatever practical oriented problem or your course subject problem or you are writing a program you execute that where how best approximation way had to construct the Fourier series. The job axis is not possible to construct the uh, 
under Fourier series, only it's possible to construct up to first harmonic second harmonic. This is a, uh, one of the drawback for the uh, under harmonic analysis. Okay, I think it's clear everyone uh, what to explain. If you want some more, more problem, please refer in me section. Uh, already uploaded for my post material notes, you please refer it to work more problem. Okay, before I'm going to uh, wind up this class, if you have any doubt, any clarification, you please contact uh, uh, through this uh, mail ID rupa km small letter or that is n at gmail.com you please drop a mail I definitely am going to give a response for this after that I am taking your number and then through the number I am uh, whatsapp uh, the, what you require to me PM through whatsapp okay Thank you very much for listening my entire module uh, 2. Today I am closing our module 2 and taking whatever my knowledge, whatever I know that I explained. This is a vast, we can't say that what I explain is my life is enough. I am giving only for uh, introduction of what's a Fourier series out of construct. Your job is to work more problem, you refer more textbook and then we get more confident to the construct. Concept, okay? Thank you very much. Bye, see you and take care. In the next class, suppose I permit and I'm going to take another one cla class. I'm going to uh, show it to some uh, uh, engineering related uh, paper. There they're going to use for your series for your uh, benefit or also your uh, use. Okay. Take care. Bye, see you.